here I am with my new Ride 135 from Wilderness Systems. This is going to be an overview testing video of it and how it does. So we'll get right to it. So I'll start from the front of this ship here. It's got a nice handle carrying the kayak, you know. And we have a little slip with a nice little wheel here so you can slide your paddle underneath it. And we got a hatch. I kind of like the hatch idea instead of picking it up, you know. Just all the way underneath. See it on that, but you can get the gist of it. And then now we have the slide tracks right here. Uh, possible GoPro mount. Put slide slide around whatever you want it. Sand stiff strap. Just a couple holes up here. Cup holder, a tray for tools, hooks, lures, anything like that. Then we got some more trays for it right here. Do this out of this midship hatch. This opens up, and I already have a little bungee, like electrical tape, old rope, and carabiners, because they give you some things to clip it on too. I'm gonna clip on a dry bag, but then we have two more scupper holes, and here is the seat. Well, let's keep going back. I'll show you the seat in a sec. So right here, I've plugged up these two scupper holes because they're kind of noisy with some pool noodle foam. I'm gonna plug these up with real scupper plugs. I'm thinking just so I can take it out real quick, because you can't really take these out. But yeah, the only downside right now is they're really noisy, but that's an that easily fixed problem. Then we got pedal holder, and we got tank well. Extremely big tank well, a lot bigger than a sun dolphin. Quite an upgrade. And then we got another handle, and it's already rudder accessible and slip there and this little hole is like runs all the way back but down here where Cody was showing you there's a keel and a skid plate which is replaceable if you ever need that anyways back to the seat we got here I want to say it was air pro it was new air pro seat it's 2014 pretty much comfiest seat I've ever sat in probably more than a Jackson seat ha you just sit around here let her back. Put this right here. Basically this, you can, this handle here, you can push these down for less leg support. Or you can pull it up. I'll sit there so I can get more. Pull this up, more leg support. Push it down. And then right here, you got these side straps. So you can get more back support if you're just like resting like this, you know, and you just, there you go. And then you want to go forward or backwards, or just push it back down. It gives you an option to go forward or backwards to balance out the boat more, given if you have more weight up there, more weight back there, or you don't like how it's riding. But yeah, that's basically it. So you can clip back there. Or with these two ones here, those two clips. But yeah, that's basically it. It's been a round 135, and after this should be the video of the testing. One last thing. So let me show you here. We got all of 13 and a half feet long, and 31 and a half inches wide at its widest. And Reese.
Yep, we're over. Let's see how well she tracks here. Look at that, that is straight. Oh yeah, that's easy. I mean, that's really easy to stand up in. Yeah. I'm testing out the, my new Ride 135 for the first time today. And I'm standing up in it. It was actually really easy. Jackson and Jackson Kusa. Here's Cody in the yak. No, it's longer than the. It's longer than Cody's dad's big rig. No, but like the stability. Yeah. It's not quite big rig, but it's. Okay. Yeah, the stability. If you're comparing that thing to the, the stability of a big rig, it's pretty dang stable. Yeah. Stand up in her. I mean. Pretty much stand there. It's a tropical heat. 